Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. I know it's Memorial Day today, mm -hmm. but I'm in the mood for some Mexican food. Not hot dogs and hamburgers. Not hot dogs and hamburgers. And I also want the day off from cooking. How are we going to have food and you not cook? We'll find out right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos like we're going to do today. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We're just kind of talking about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you will find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So like I said, it's Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. I know the traditional Memorial Day food is like hamburgers and hot dogs. Yes. Well, I want something different. I want Mexican food and I want the day off for cooking, even though this is really the day that the man's supposed to be out on the barbecue. Well, I'm I'm all about eating Mexican food. I love it, but okay. I just don't know how we're going to, to make it happen without you being involved in the cooking process. It's real simple. Today, we're gonna make a taco pie. Okay. And this recipe is so easy, even Rachel can make it. All right, so we found a recipe so easy Rachel can make, but is it involving like hamburger meat or chicken? Yep. So let's go over what you're going to need to make this recipe. Now, this is a little bit more difficult of a recipe for a so easy Rachel can make it, but it really is that simple. All right. The only difference is this is the first one that I'm going to teach you where you actually have to use the stove. Oh my goodness. Am I having to use your pans? Yes, you're going to have to use my pans. I'm going to trust you with my pans because that's how easy this one is. Oh, wow. So... The first thing that we're going to need, we're going to need some eggs. Okay. Okay. Because just like any good keto meal, eggs, we're going to make like a casserole. It's a pie. All That's right. That's what's going to bind it together. We use pasture rays. Yeah. So. Vital we're going to need a pound of ground beef. Yum. Okay. We use grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. We get this from Winn-Dixie. It's on sale a lot of times for $4 a pound. So we usually just load up when it's on sale. Yeah. It's super cheap. So. Then we're going to need some taco seasoning. Now, Ooh, this, this is, is yours, my right? taco seasoning. It's just in an it. old like container from something else that when I ran out, oh, it but it stores so it nice. I'll leave a link for the recipe for my taco seasoning down below. Now, you can also use store-bought ones, but this one is so easy to make, and then you don't have to deal with any of the added sugars, the added melted extra, or anything like that. Yeah, and then you can just go to it. Yep. So we just keep a whole batch made. Finally, we're going to need some garlic powder. I love garlic. Then we got my little bag over here that I forgot to empty out. You need some heavy cream. Mm hmm You need some cheese. Well, you gotta have some cheese, please. And then finally, we're gonna just use, because I know it's Rachel, we Real need salt. some extra salt, okay? So those are all the ingredients you need. Now after that, all you're gonna really need is you're gonna need a cast iron pan. Okay. Or you don't have to use cast iron. I just like cast iron. So we're going to brown our ground beef. So that's the cooking part that you're going to have to do. Now, I see some other items in that bag. Are yep. those topping items? Those are just the topping items. Okay. And then, obviously, we're going to need a pie pan. <gasps> we just got this. Okay, so we had taken a little sabbatical from QVC yep. because we were we had a full-on addiction. Um, at least Joe did. And, um, but you got these lock and locks and this is a glass. Yep. It's glass. That's why so I So like this it. is like the inaugural use of the this. The inaugural use. We're going to have to go wash before we use it. But I love lock and lock because it really does keep everything in. Yeah. I like it because we can bake the pie in here and you can use it for any kind of pie. And, and then you put this spill. top, it's got a nice seal on it and then just stick it in the refrigerator. You have to use extra pans or pots. And we've like been that. rough on ours. Yep. So let's do this. I'll grab the camera. Okay. And let's head over to the stove and you have to brown the ground beef. All right, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is preheat our oven to 350 degrees. It's getting kind of warmish in this pan too. Okay, and then obviously we're using a cast iron pan, so we're gonna have to uh, heat that pan up. I think it's good and hot now, so you can go ahead and put your ground beef in. All right, I love how I have like our doggie is here for moral support. Like she, she, every time I approach this stove, she assumes there's something wrong. And like, it's like, do you need some help? Do you need some encouragement? Like, look at this, she just. I like the fact that she stands like right underneath your she's legs. She's right there. So I love this particular brand of ground beef in this convenient package. 
So we don't just crank up the the uh, stove top to high. Nope, we're going right to just, you're gonna go to medium, medium low. Once your pan gets hot with cast iron, especially on the electric stove, you can uh, turn it like way down to low. Okay. So basically what you wanna do, just chop that up and uh, get it all brown. So I learned how to ground beef and cook an egg in home mac and that's it. And I got a B in home mac. I remember making coffee cakes and like pizza dough. We and... made almost nothing and I tried to sew and it was it was it was terrible. It was my only B in middle school. Okay, so now that you have it brown, what you're going to do is you're going to add in 2 tablespoons of my chili powder. Look at me cooking and not ruining your pans. Nope, you're doing a good job. If the key Oops. with the cast iron is keeping everything low temperature. Unless you're trying to sear something. So just two tablespoons. Now you can put a little bit more if you want. Uh, just remember that you're looking at some carbs with that. Okay, so now that you have it added in there, go ahead and just give it a good stir. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is you're just going to let this simmer for just a couple of minutes to try to get the sauce to thicken back up. We're not adding any water because we're just going to use the water and the fat that's already coming from the ground beef. Yum. Okay, so now that that's all cooked, what we're going to do is turn off the stove and we're just going to let it sit a little bit and then we'll go over and make the egg mixture. Okay. So now that we have our ground beef done, you need to do the egg. So you're going to put six eggs in here. Six. Look at that. You happen to have six left in the <laughs> carton. It's so perfect. One. Now let me give you a little two. hint. You really shouldn't crack the eggs on the side of the bowl. Why? You should crack them on your, on your thing. Why? Then I'm going to get the stuff on that. Because when you crack oh. them on a the side, you have a chance of dropping the shells as you crack it into the bowl. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I was going to say, oh, I will, won't drop it all over the countertop, but I did it anyway. We have to get a little bit faster with this. Have you noticed that... You be able to do this with one hand. Oh, my gosh. Have you noticed that the shells are harder on these pasture-raised eggs? Because they're better eggs. I guess so. Here we go. Okay, so now that you have your eggs done... Okay one cup of heavy cream okay so this recipe is getting delicious it's getting super fatty now it does have a couple of carbs in it it's going to come out to be about two uh carbs per serving an entire cup you say an entire cup make sure you measure it on the side there you go that perfect. was perfect so i'll let you go ahead and pour that i don't have to pour it some special way right nope Fold it in. Like, I don't even know what that now means. Use that and get all that good heavy cream out of the bottom. I love that episode of um, Schitt's Creek that when they're talking about folding in the eggs. Yes. That is hilarious. That's a funny show. Okay. Okay. You can put that down. Done with this? Yep. You're going to do a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. Mmm, I love that smell. Just throw it in there. Okay. You're gonna go a half a teaspoon of my chili powder. Yum. Of my taco seasoning. Why are you so dainty? Just throw it in there. I'm so excited about cooking. That Wouldn't I, you I'll... be throwing it more and then a half a teaspoon of the salt? I wanna do it fancy like. There we go, is that better? No, I really meant dump it, but go ahead and whisk your eggs. I'll put this away. Vigorously. I'm doing it. I feel like there's a technique I need to learn. Nope, you've got learn. it. Or whisking eggs. Now you don't eggs. have to put the chili powder, uh, the taco, I don't know why I keep calling it chili powder. I guess it's because it's predominantly chili powder. You don't have to put the taco seasoning um, into the egg mixture. I just want to give it a little bit more. Extra taste. flavor, yo. Yeah. 
Okay, so now that you've got that done, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our pie pan. Okay. Put that over here. Lock and lock. Don't put that in there yet. Okay. I can't stop stirring it. I feel like there's more to incorporate. Don't I look like so professional? It's like, hello. Okay. Okay. So we're going to give, you can put this to the side. Stop beating it. All right. You're enjoying beating it. I'm beating a dead horse. I'm beating okay. a dead egg. Give your pie pan just a little quick spray with oh, duck fat. Oh, that's the duck fat. Now you can use coconut oil spray. Just not too much. Just like that? a little bit. Yep. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab your ground beef. Uh-huh. And you're going to put it in here. Okay. Okay. So wait a second. There's a pot holder on there, but this is a cast iron pot. Don't burn your hand. It so. gets hot. I got this. Here. And now go ahead. I'll help you and just dump this in here. Ooh, it smells so good. It's missing. Do you want to lick the pot later? I really actually do want to lick the pot. Is that bad? Is that like inappropriate? I'm, just getting, I'm getting all of this good fat out. Go ahead and spread that out. You want to try to get it as even as possible. Okay. Ooh, I just got happy. Okay. Now go ahead and put just about, you're going to use about a half a cup here, just of, of cheese. Like a hand? See. That's about good. Maybe a little bit more, but let's, let's just lightly spread it across. Mm-hmm. Good. Now pour your egg mixture over it. Over top of it. Eggs are so versatile, aren't they? They are. Should I try to get the last little bit? Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Finally, just see, so I know you like to measure things. A nice half a cup of that. There you go. And again, spread Ooh. it across the whole top. This side. Awesome. Okay. Into 350 degree oven. All right. We're going to go about 30 minutes and you're going to cook it until the top starts to brown and the center is nice and firm. Nice. Okay. So we'll Let's check in with you guys in a little while. Okay. Okay. So it's been 30 minutes. Uh, time to pull everything out of the oven. All right. Let's do this without burning myself. Wow. That is beautiful. So let me just hold it up to the camera. Look how pretty see, it look is. It's got a lot of delicious fat swarming around it. Now that was super easy, right? Yeah, All that you really, really was. had to do was brown the ground beef and beat some eggs. Yep. So not a lot of work. It didn't take, it took what, maybe five minutes of preparation and then 30 minutes to bake it. I like that. So let's go over the macros before we cut into this, okay? so. Um, we usually cut this into six pieces. Yes. Okay, so you can make the serving size whatever you want. Yeah. You know, so most people would say, hey, eight pieces, but you know what? Nobody in our house is eating an eighth of a pound of ground beef. No. Okay, so cut it into six pieces. That was going to come out to be 466 calories. It's going to be 40 grams of fat, 24 grams of protein. It's going to be three total carbs. I love it. And about a half a gram of fiber. Okay, so for me, it's three total carbs. The carbs are coming from your um, heavy cream, mm -hmm. and they're coming from all of your spices. You know, there are a decent amount of carbs when you start adding in chili powder and cumin and all those other things. Which is another reason why you want to make them yourself. Right. So you know what's in it. So you know exactly what's in there. So let's go ahead and slice this up. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. It smells incredible too. This lock and lock pan was very good, don't you think? Now's the challenge. We're going to get it out of here. I can never, Without you never want it. me cutting your, slicing your cake or pie. Look at that. That is beautiful. 
I hold it up to the. What? Is... I'm just gonna hold it up like that. Okay. That Let's came out it. nice. Then what we're gonna do, we're actually in the middle of our cut down to KetoCon, so we have got to watch every single carbon calorie. We do. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna just top this off a little bit. So we got some sour cream here. So two tablespoons of this is 60 calories. It's gonna be one carbohydrate. Okay, so we'll just do one tablespoon each. Perfect. Covers the whole thing. If I can get it off. <laughs> then we'll do some guacamole. Guacamole. Now again, the guacamole that we're using is this brand. We really like this brand. Yeah, it's yep. good. It's very flavorful. Two tablespoons, 50 calories, four and a half grams of fat, and three total carbs with two grams of fiber. We're just going to do one tablespoon. Now it's becoming colorful. Very pretty. Okay, and then finally... I'm going to top it off with a little bit of salsa. Two Sisters is a good brand, and they usually have a little bit of kick in it. Yep. Now, this flavor is just the regular Fiesta. The regular Fiesta. And so that one's small. What is that? So it, Total carbohydrates are two. In two tablespoons, right? Yep. So we're two just going to have one. So we'll just do one tablespoon of that. Look how pretty. Now that looks like a party right there. So if you, by the time you add on that we've added on the sour cream, the guacamole, and the salsa, each one of them add another carb. So this piece here is six total carbs for you. And without adding it up exactly over there, you're looking at about 550 calories for that piece. So now is the ultimate test though. How does it taste? Yep, let me grab a fork here. Because if it looks beautiful, but it tastes terrible. Well, is this, this isn't probably a bad way to break your fast here, huh? Mm-mm. Kind of want to get a little bit of everything. I'm going to actually, I'm going to taste just the pie. Let's see how you did here. Oh, oh, I just rolled it off onto the counter. Five second roll. Oop, it's still going. Excellent job. That, Whoa! Like, that is like just a taco in a mouthfeel. Mmm, that is so good. You don't even miss the tortilla. Yep. Oh my gosh, that is good. Yeah, now I gotta go in with like a little bit of it all. I'm gonna take one more bite before we sign off this video. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh, wow. Now, you could probably do this with chicken, too. Yeah, you can absolutely do it chicken with chicken, first. but again, we're trying to make this super fatty. We used 80-20 ground beef, mm. but when you add all of that heavy cream, usually wow. I do a dozen eggs to a half a cup of heavy cream. Yeah. But for this, you just want that nice, thick- it's very fluffy. Like, fluffy consistency, but you want it to be just really filling. That would be beautiful to bring to like a summer potluck. Absolutely. So, so- you did an incredible job. Thank I mean, you. Now, will you admit, was that recipe that so was, easy that even Rachel could make it? Even Rachel can make that one. That is delicious and nice and fast. So, good job. Thank you. I'm proud of you. So, we're going to make you a cook yet. I, I'm, I'm on my way. So, so, that is our video for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to yeah, it. Yeah, and make sure you check out on our website, 2crazyketos.com. You'll find the recipe for this right there. All right, until next time. Bye. Bye.